Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for December 8th. Uh, your daily vibes. This is for all signs. Um, no, I have been doing them at night, but for some reason, for some reason I decided not to do it last night. I decided I was going to wait till this morning. And there's a reason why. There's absolutely a reason why I didn't do it last night. Now, now that it's morning, I, I get it. I get it. Um, I always cut my vice versa deck before I start the reading. Always, always. And I've uh, uh, miraculously cut it to the moon card, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now the ver vice versa deck has stuff on both sides. So this is like the non-traditional side. Death! Oh boy, I hadn't even looked underneath it. I didn't know what was underneath it. Anyway, this is the traditional side. Something was below the surface. Something was unseen. As we wake up, as we wake up in the morning, as we wake up to the day, something is no longer unseen. It is now above the surface. Something is to the point where it needs to come to an end, obviously. There's whatever was hidden can no longer be hidden. It's, it's up. It's, uh, it's out. It's there to be dealt with. It's there to be faced. And there's a reason why this didn't get done last night. Because it wasn't meant to be revealed until the time was right. Now we have this truth that is no longer hidden. This truth is in regards to something that has held us back. It's held us back from success. It's held us back from happiness. This, this hidden, this hidden secret. This hidden secret. This lie, this fantasy, this illusion, this addiction. This addiction. Whatever it was that was holding us back was not allowing us to grow. Was not allowing us to go down the path that we are meant to go down. And now we have this opportunity for a new beginning as something that we have uh, lived with, we've lived with and kept buried inside us is near death or at death. You can't hide it anymore. It needs to end. And it's a time of endings, okay? This is what this is. The death card is a card of endings that allow you to transition into newness, into a new beginning. The be new beginning that you are meant to have somebody has been trying to escape this death they've been trying to escape an ending they've been living a lie there's a lie here because you think i mean the moon is about uh escapism and if you think about water okay what is going on below that water can anybody see what's going on below that water no you can't see what's going on behind that below that water can you it's hidden. But there's definitely shit going on below that water. There's no doubt about it. All kinds of shit is going on below the surface. Not anymore. The water is clear. You can see. It's, it's out. It's out. And it's out because it's time for a new beginning. 
It's time to start over. You can't hide it. You can't escape it. Happy new moon. Because death <laughs> is imminent. No shit. Y'all saw that happen. It's time to surrender. It's time to surrender to what is. Somebody has been holding on to something that has been killing them. And it's time, it's time for the transition. It's time for the rebirth. It's time for that transformation that has been trying to happen. I can't make this shit up. Y'all know that, right? Somebody has been carrying around some sort of burden. It's been heavy. Overwhelming. Holding on to some sort of baggage that needs to be let go. Somebody doesn't need to carry it anymore. It does it needs to be it needs to be dropped. Somebody needs to cut it, cut themselves free. Thinking that, you know, I'm just gonna hold on to this and eventually I'm gonna get to where I need to be. Well, it's gonna kill you. It's gonna kill you. Here we have the King of Swords. I just want to get this zoomed in because I know that it's not. So let me just get it zoomed in. That is ready to face the, the storm. He, he's ready to step right into that storm. He's turned his back. Somebody has turned their back on reality, holding on to something that doesn't serve them, maybe to prove a point. I have to prove how my stance, I have to prove how strong I am. All the while it has been killing them. And now we have somebody here that is, it looks to me is ready to to fight ready I mean he's got his armor on and it looks like he is ready to like move mountains and face the storm to get something he is he's about ready to go protect get something he's got his armor on that means he's going to protect he's going to get something and i think it's something that he has turned his back on it can't be hidden anymore it can't be hidden anymore you have to face your fears you got to face the storm so somebody is oh, Seeing what is, it's like, I, I, I can't hide this anymore. I can't hide this anymore. It's a time of transformation. It's a time of transition. What they tried to hide can no longer be hidden. Ooh, there's regrets. Disappointment. I 
think that somebody is perhaps wanting to go back to make amends. You see the bridge? Somebody is going back to make amends with their hurt, their past hurt. Knowing that love is still there. There's still love there. So we do have somebody that is probably he's ready to he's gonna he's gonna walk through that desert he's gonna walk through that storm get to that bridge walk over that bridge to whatever he lost there's regret there's disappointment there's sadness it looks like he's trying to th he's thinking about fixing it how can i fix this how can i fix this mm. yeah this guy is about he's finding some confidence and he's being cheered on he's being cheered on do it do it do it do it He's about to take the lead. We have somebody here that is about to take the lead. And he wants his victory and success. This man is trying to do the noble thing as well. We have somebody here that is... Wanting to bring balance and harmony back to his life. And he's, again, he's got armor on. So we have a man here that is going to protect what is his. Or he's, he's, he's wanting to protect what, he, what is his. He's seeing the light by the looks of things. Mmm. Woo, the Wheel of Fortune. Fated. Destiny. This guy is headed towards his destiny. This is fate. Meant to be. This change of course. This is a change of course that is divinely guided. Okay. This is destiny. We have a, we have a transition. A fated change that is moving somebody towards... Whatever destiny they are supposed to be invited, headed towards their destiny, put it that way. Something that is very good. So this is a change of direction. Somebody is changing their direction, absolutely, positively, no doubt about it. Now, and this is an ending, and this is an so ending. There's something, somebody is ending something that they tried to ignore. They tried to bury their truth. They tried to bury their feelings. They tried to lie about it, and it's over. They can't you know, lie about it. Sagittarius. It's, this, it's, it's the uh, new moon. The truth can no longer be hidden. It is, it's palpitating. Bastard of a card. Fuck. Oh, God. I hate this card. Oh, yay. Yay. Okay. So, yeah. We have some sort of... A fated again. <laughs> a fated breakdown. A fated breakup. A fated blast. A... Breakthrough, a rude awakening. It's like somebody has been struck by lightning as to who they hurt. Somebody has hurt somebody and they know it. And now the universe, because the tower is a universe card, has 
shook this person up. The hard way. Somebody has been holding on to the grudge. <laughs> But now they see, they see the universe has made them see what they did. There's, there was a person in this mix that brought another person to their knees and did not respect them. Didn't care that they hurt them was very selfish and self-centered and only cared about, like I said, proving a point. I said that up here, proving somebody was absolutely trying to prove something, but all the while they were trying to prove it. Their burden was getting heavier and heavier and heavier because it was all a lie. It was all based on ego. It was all based on pride because this is a card of ego and pride. Bringing another person to their knees and hurting them and leaving them there and not apologizing that to them is going to hurt you as much as, if not more, than the other person because the other person is eventually going to stand up. I keep thinking of that saying about going to bed at night with a clear conscience. Conscience. This person can go to bed at night with a clear conscience. This person cannot. Even though they can pretend that they do, they don't. They don't. Anyway, the tower or the universe has opened somebody's eyes. Somebody that has turned their back. Somebody that was aggressive and mean-spirited. They've, they've enlightened them. This person has been enlightened. And it looks as though this person is headed over that bridge, down that road to whoever they hurt in hopes of fixing it, perhaps, because it looks like they have some regrets. One more card. Oh, God damn! Oh, my God. Yeah, there's been a lot of pain. Somebody is feeling the pain. The Three of Swords. Extreme pain. Rubbing my heart. <laughs> I am definitely rubbing my heart because there has been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of pain. I mean, to the point where I'm rubbing my freaking heart. Um, heartache, grief, suffering, pain, rejection. There's been a painful, painful, painful separation here. And now it's time to... It looks like the universe is illuminating the truth in regards to what caused that pain. And now they are giving somebody an opportunity to fix it. Fix it. Oh my God. <sighs> and I have to tell you, this reading will not be for everybody because a lot of people will still stay in their ego. They they do have somebody has had a point to I got to prove myself and there's no doubt about it. I've got to prove myself. And but wanting to prove themselves has caused pain, a lot of pain, a lot of pain to everybody involved. But now it's it's so right there. It's so painful. It's so hurtful. It's so 
oh God, I can't stop rubbing my heart. You know what I mean? That's what I'm telling you right now. I can't stop rubbing my heart. It's like, oh God, this is so heartfelt, you know? So I feel as though somebody is taking action in regards to healing a broken heart. They've been enlightened and there's an opportunity for a new beginning. There's a completion of something that was a lie and somebody is headed in a new direction towards it looks like dealing with pain. I mean, this isn't the most beautiful reading here. I don't see any Ace of Cups. I don't see any Two of Cups. I don't see any Ten of Cups because... <laughs> Excuse me. You have to... Deal with things as they come... And there's right. This is painful. It's painful. This is painful. It is. It's painful. You don't get the transformation overnight. You don't get the reward overnight. You're gonna get a reward for dealing with this pain because this 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 ten of this this uh, wheel of fortune is a reward. You will get a reward, and the wheel is spinning. It could be bringing somebody back because that's it could definitely bring be bringing somebody. I think somebody is coming back to deal with the pain that they caused because they can't hide it anymore and it could lead to starting a new chapter whatever that is I mean whatever this is endings bring new beginnings so we absolutely have a new beginning here where somebody is about to you know, start a new chapter in their life, which is going to lead to victory and success. But somebody has to find the strength, the nobility, the confidence to tell the truth, you know, to speak the truth, to start over, to let what ends needs to end, end, to, to drop whatever it is that they've been holding to drop their stance to stop trying to prove themselves it's not about proving yourself it's about happiness and I think that somebody sees that now you know what? I don't have anything to prove here this is what I want I need to go get it I'm going to get it I'm going back to whoever it is that I hurt because this is too painful for me so will there be communication coming in you know, I, I see a change of events here. These, these. I mean, if you see what's mirroring each other, we have, we have a destined change of course. I am not kidding you. That is leading to a major transformation. Transformation card. Transformation card. Destiny. Fate. I mean, we have a destined change of course here. That is leading someone towards something much, 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 much better. Endings bring new beginnings, and this is a big one. Big, 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 big. So we have a... I mean, this is the Wheel of Fate. It is the Wheel of Fate. Somebody has been letting their ego drive, and now the ego is being pounded. Their ego is being pounded. By the universe. With breakdown. After breakdown. After breakdown. Because that's what the universe will do. The universe will poke you, poke you, poke you. And make it miserable. Until you step outside of your ego. So we have somebody that is going back to deal with the pain that they caused another person. And that's what I see. And I'm not going to pretend. What has been hidden can no longer be hidden because this hurts too much. So, you know, <laughs> so 
somebody could be headed in your direction right over that bridge back to who you who they hurt so you were on the other end if you're this person that was on your knees begging for <laughs> please help me please don't do this to me please 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 you know this person could be ready to make some sort of amends by the looks of things I don't know I don't know where this is coming from we have a major completion here Jesus Christ we had this card I think we had this card yesterday or the day before grace and gratitude I'm gonna go ahead and read it excuse my language <laughs> Yeah. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the preciousness of life and everything and everyone around you. That's exactly what this is. It's simple, easy, and so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. Thankfulness is modern day alchemy. It can yield happiness, grace, and peace beyond imagination. The secret to a remarkable, fulfilling journey is to allow gratitude to flood you at every juncture. No matter what twists and turns are, there are in the road, whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable, <laughs> okay? Whether you are confident or unsure, no matter what you are experiencing, even if your challenges seem insurmountable, Feeling grateful will ease any challenge. Replace darkness with light and allow yourself to hear the chorus of angels. The, your entire life can transform, transformation right here, when you take time to fully, deeply, and profoundly allow the grace of gratitude to, to, to fill you. Somebody is probably, it appears, is finding a newfound gratitude for what they lost. So I don't know, I don't know who this is for, but there's a painful separation here. There is definitely painful separation. There's no doubt. But there is an opportunity for love with this Two of Cups. There is an opportunity. It's the opportunity for love is, is right here. It's right here. All this person has to do is go get it or pick it up. Take it. See it. Stop focusing on what happened. The universe is at work. And this the truth can no longer be hidden. And it looks to me like somebody is taking action. To go bring the victory and success back that they have lost trying to escape reality. So I don't know if this reading is for you. If you are dealing with somebody that has a really big ego, don't get your hopes up because this person, I mean, I'm just telling you, this person has some serious lessons to learn and the, and the universe will continue to poke them until they do. But it's a time to move in a new direction either way. It's a, it's, there's an opportunity for a transition out of one phase into another one. Be grateful for the experience no matter how much it hurt you. Because better days are ahead. There's no more escaping reality. It is what it is. It is what it is. T 
I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do another reading with a different deck and see what comes up. Talk to you in a minute.